Stampers, Diane Divich here with DD Stamps, and I am coming to you live from my stamp room. Um, I have some stuff planned today for our regular Facebook Live. I'm thankful that I actually got some information out and was able to be here for this live event. Now, I put it on my calendar, and I plan to make this my absolute priority this coming year. Um, one of my priorities for my Stampin' Up! business. But I'm excited about what I get to show today, and I will tell you that the UPS showed up about, oh, I don't know, maybe half hour, 30 minutes. Great. It looks like people are starting to come in. So if you're watching live, will you please um, let me know that you're there on Facebook. Anyway, so UPS showed up about a half hour ago and actually brought me some of the supplies that I wanted to use for today but I had actually made um, a different card, just in case it didn't happen. So I'm gonna go over to my stamp table. I'll show you my hands here in a minute. I just wanted to make sure that things were working. So um, anyway, a couple of things. If you placed an order with me in December, I sent out the packages with the card supplies yesterday out of the post office. I had some issues getting the, the supplies that I needed for the tutorial. And um, I actually had to do a, a couple of adjustments. So I think the tutorial used the Santa Claus paper. That's not what it was called. But it was something something Santa Claus, Santa-ish. And they ran out of it long before the tutorial, I think, came out. So I switched out the papers. And when I did that, I needed to switch out the cardstock that I sent to so that it all coordinated. Tutorials can still be used. I actually put paper in there that um, one of the papers that isn't actually totally Christmassy, so you could actually use the same tutorial and just switch it out. The other thing that happened is many of you have signed up for my paper share, and that is what arrived about 30 minutes ago. So my stamp room is an absolute disaster. It's complete disaster. Um, but I wanted to let you know that that paper share, I'm going to be cutting, sorting, labeling, getting it all ready. Today's Wednesday. I'm hoping to have it out of, out of here by Friday. Um, so watch for that. If you signed up and you haven't paid yet, you've you've got a, you know get that done. I sent out emails and I sent out PayPal invoices to people. Some people I have not heard from. So please get that done. And uh, so watch for that. Oh, sorry. If you signed up and you have I wanted to see if I could see the comments, <laughs> but I guess I can hear myself. Anyway, so this particular way that I do with Facebook Live has been a real challenge, and I don't want to stop doing them. I want to do them, but somehow I'm going to have to figure out how I can see the comments that people are making and continue to be live, and it's just going to take a little adjustment, but I will get there. I will actually answer your comments um, if I don't answer them during this. I will answer them afterwards because I will stick around to, to, to check all the comments. A couple of things. I wanted to make sure that people were aware, and I think I posted it up in the comments on Facebook. Okay, so one of the issues that I had is last week I said if you like, comment, and share this, you'll get, you'll get put into the pot for the free stamp set. If you did it on YouTube and you did it on my, Facebook, on my website, I put you in there too. I was going to give away three sets. I'm going to do that. But what I found was... I can see all the likes and I can see all the comments, but if somebody shares my video, I only get to see those people that don't have their settings set to private or are friends of mine on Facebook. So this week, I'm just going to say we're going to like and comment on this video for a drawing, on this Facebook video. So down in the comment section, give it a like, give it a love, give it a comment. If you choose to share it, just share it to your page because you loved it and you wanted somebody else to see it. Um, I appreciate the love and I appreciate the sharing, but it's too hard to put your name into the hat for uh, a drawing. The other thing is, I did put this up on, I put this particular video up on YouTube. It didn't show very well. It, it, was, it was okay, but it, I didn't, it, it, I don't know. It was just real grainy. And um, I'm not convinced that I'm gonna continue to do that. I might do that to share with people if they want it, but I have not totally convinced that I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm not totally convinced that I'm going to continue to share it on my website. 
Well, yeah, I probably will share it on my website, but there's not going to be a prize drawing on my website because that can only happen afterwards, and it's just too confusing. I hope that helps. Trying to fix this situation I got myself in. <laughs> um, so these will probably evolve as we go through here. So, okay, the winners of this week's drawing, and I've got three stamp sets that they can choose from. One is the hand-delivered hostess stamp set. One is the Pressed Flowers Hostess stamp set. And this one actually just arrived, like I said, 30 minutes ago, the Just Because stamp set. Um, so Kate Dixon, and I actually have two of these and two of these. So if somebody wants one that somebody else has, I might have two of these too. No. So anyway, if somebody has one that's already been chosen, you can still get it. So Kate Dixon, you were the winner on Facebook. Donna Green was the winner on YouTube. And Anita Falcon was the winner on my website. What I'm asking you to do is send me an email or a message and tell me which stamp set you want me to send you and I will get those out in the mail. Um, it is the responsibility of those gals to contact me. I will f I'll flag them because a, a couple of them I know and are um, customers of mine. So anyway, let me know what you would like. A couple of things I didn't share last week. This is actually a sheet that I did. I don't think I shared this, but this was the dies in the stamp set that I used last week. This is just a sheet I did so you could actually see the different dies and the stamp sets and how they work together. And this particular little die here is a corner die, and I did not show this one last week. This is how it cuts, and then I cut this section of paper. So it cuts out this, and it cuts out this, and then it cuts out that big corner. So the sample that's in the catalog looks like this. And you can see where I took it. I used a bigger sheet of cardstock and I cut out the corner and then trimmed it this way and this way. And it's not perfect, but it works. I'm happy with it. And then I used the corner dots, which is kind of a cool little stamps uh, die cut. And you get two of them. And that just cut that out. And then that actually is a piece of designer series paper, as is this. And then I added shimmer to it. Okay, so I just want to show that quickly before I get started. Um, let's see where we are. Okay, get rid of this piece of paper. So today, I actually was going to, this worked out good, because I was going to focus on celebration um, today. And this particular um, paper, I love this botanical butterfly paper. This is paper that can be, you can get for free with a $50 order. But I love these cards, and I kind of used them for some inspiration last week. And so I'm going to show this card because, like I said, these two dies came in 30 minutes ago, and I want to play with them, and this is a prime opportunity to do that. But I'm going to show you how I did this card. I'm going to give you the measurements, and then I'm going to show you some of the other stuff I did with this actual paper. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, this is the set that I got a few minutes ago. And it's the Well Said Bundle, and it comes, I guess, first off, I'm going to use the, um, the rectangle stitch framelits, which I didn't realize was actually used on this card until about 10 minutes ago. So I'm glad that I have those. And I'm going to use the Well Said Stamps Set, stamp set and the dies. Now, as you can see, you can't see much from this because, honest to gosh, it, I haven't done anything with them. But I will do a sheet up like I did before. But you can see it on this page here. These are all the dies. It's like 24 dies, and it says all these words and, and a couple of other flower images, vine stuff. Anyway, it's a very cool set, and I can't wait to play with it. But I'm just going to show you quickly. Okay, so let's do the card first that I said I was going to do. And then I will come back and show you how I use that for inspiration um, before I had all the products that I needed. So I'm going to use a piece of vellum and this stitch die, the stitch ring to rectangular die. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a stitch line, a cut line, and a stitch line. So when I take my piece of vellum that I'm going to use, and actually I'm going to... I'm going to take this steel plate off there because I don't need it for this 
for this die, and I really don't like to use my steel plate unless I'm using the really detailed, fine, little um, dies. So for these bigger framelits, you just want to go ahead and use, let me go grab, I got to go grab another plate because I don't have them all here. Oh, and it is a very well-loved plate. This one's probably going to break. It might even break during this event. <laughs> so anyway, I, I like to use the steel plate when I'm using detailed, there we go, detailed dies. Oh, wait. It's always good to do this and then have something not work quite right. Okay, so I have the thin die adapter. Yeah, I'm supposed to use that. And that, and that. And that, and that, right? I didn't, I don't like to push through my, I don't like to push through on my, oh, there we go, on my big shot. If it feels like it's too snug, it makes me kind of worried, and I think I might have my sandwich wrong, but I had it right, and just first time through with this particular die, and I wanted to be kind of snappy about it. Let me pull off this piece of vellum. And so on this piece of vellum, when you pull off this stitch, I want to show you. Oh, I don't know if it cut all the way through. I might have to. Oh, let me run it through again. I should have checked that. So put it all back together. I'm going to run it through one more time just to give it. I think I had issues last week, too, with my big shot. I think my big shot might be getting worn out. I'm not very good about spending my money. I've had my big shots since the beginning of time that we've had them. And I actually do believe it's time for me to think about getting a new one. I don't know if you can you tune them up, do a little maintenance on them, make them a little tighter. So I'm going to pull this off of here. So I've got my stitched frame. I don't know if you can. I did, it kind of tore down there. We're not going to worry about that right now. I don't think you can even see that. But on this piece of vellum, you probably can't see. I have stitching along the outside edge here. So it's kind of fun to be able to layer that. So that's the square rect or the rectangle framelits. I'm using a piece of the designer series paper that comes with this butterfly paper. And I gotta show you this because so I just pulled a bunch out. Um because I've really been using it a lot. But I wanted to show it to you quickly. So this is one of the pieces. They come 12 by 12, and then on the back, it's black and white. I think I showed that last week, too, in a little book. I love this piece. Black, and then that black and white polka dot's adorable. I think I showed that already. This green piece with the, with the black and white butterflies that actually match, coordinate up with the punch, the butterfly punch. And then you can color them with your blends. We got gingham, we got blue. Um, there's a lot of paper in here. And like I said, it's 12 by 12, and that is a free product. Okay, so I took a piece of the designer series paper, and I actually cut this five and a half because I wanted to go fully across my cardstock. And if I line this up here, you can see it's five and a half by one, two, three and a quarter. That's your measurement on that. I'm gonna take a piece of Highland Heather, cut it in half. Fold it in half. That's to buy regular card size. This is kind of like my go-to card size. This is my go-to. I usually go this way, but you can go this way. You could also cut it the long way, but this is how I do it. And what you're going to do, let me grab some adhesive. See, now you're going to see all the things that I forgot to put out. And I know people don't like to cover up that back of that paper, but that's all right, because 12 by 12 sheet, you're going to have a lot of it. So you're going to lay this down on there. And then you're going to take your butterfly piece. And this is the piece you got. You want to be a little bit careful when you lay this down. Because sometimes the adhesive shows through. So I'm just going to do four on there. Oh, I didn't cut a big enough one. I used the wrong rectangle. Oh, well, we're going to go with it because I'm not going to cut another one at this point. <laughs> use the bigger first. I, I actually used on my I used the second to the largest. I should have used the largest. You can see I just got those two up. Oh, that was the first time I ran them through the machine. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to take a couple of 
pieces of that butterfly paper. And I actually cut these off because they were at the ends of the of the of the paper so that butterflies were cut off. And I wanted to use my punch. And I just have like a little flap on the edge there just so I can put it into my punch, line it up, punch it out. And this other paper doesn't matter. You do get a little extra butterfly, which doesn't really matter. You can use it if you want to. Do the same thing with this. I wanted to show you a little tip. If you're, this is a great way to use up all of your scraps. So if you're having an issue getting it in there, what I do is I just take a little piece of a post-it note or uh, anything. You can just take anything. Give you a little handle. I just took this because it was easy to grab. And you can see then I have a handle that I can line this up with. And punch. And butterfly number two. Do the same thing. And this You can actually pull that off and just keep reusing it. And line it up. And punch. And last but not least. So I'm going to make sure it comes over the edge there. So I'm not, oh, I don't think I am. Anyway, that's all right. Ooh, I better not lose my butterfly. And then I'm going to line this one up very carefully. And touch. And there you have it. So now you've got your little butterflies that you're going to attach to your cardstock on here. And what I do is you can kind of, I actually, this vellum did really well because you can't see where the adhesive is, and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, a couple of things that you can do is you can take your butterflies, and if you want to give them a little sculpting to them, just go ahead and take your, I'm using the, my bone folder, and I'm just giving those wings a little bit of a curve. And then when I put them on there with a the dimensional, <laughs> so then when I take that and I actually put the dimensional on there, you can see how the wings have a little bit of sculpting to them. See that? Anyway, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of my butterflies. Add them on. And you notice I'm not pulling really terribly hard. I just want to pull enough that it curls that up a little bit without tearing it. But you can see where I'm using every single little scrap of this paper. I love this paper and I wanted to play with it so bad and then I was kind of worried because my gosh once it's gone it's gone but you know what once it's gone it's gone so use it get some more that's all I gotta do okay so on this particular card that Stampin' Up! did in this in this particular sample they did not put the antennas of the of the butterfly because they didn't use the butterfly set in this particular sample they only used the well set so I'm, I'm just going to leave them like that. I think they look fabulous. Um, you're going to come in with, and I cut this out beforehand because I wanted to see how it works. So I cut out friend, and I'm going to use a little of our green glue. Make sure I have some of that glue here. And I'm just going to go ahead and add, I don't want to add too much because I don't want it to come smearing out. Do you know what I mean? If you add too much, then all of a sudden you've got a, a glue mess going on. So I have the glue on there. And I'm going to go ahead and add that onto my card. Like that. And then they took the stamp set. Now this is a huge stamp set. Well said has the double stamps. So many. And I'm going to actually use one of them in there. There it is. I had to look to see. Okay, so this is one of our one of our clings. Oh, here it is. Hello. 
how tiny that is. Okay, and just to save on time, I'm probably not going to add the cling to this at this point because it will take me longer than it would be to just stick it to my block. They're still like the old clings if you don't put the big sticky one on there. They'll stick, but they may be a little wobbly. And then I'm going to grab my memento. Somewhere here. I'll use my little piece of cardstock that I used for my handle and I'm going to stamp hello and then I'm just going to trim it out and it is not done perfect it's just boom and this I want to make sure I oops it's just going to go right there and I'm going to actually pull this butterfly's wing over that really super quick and easy and then they added the glitter dots now I <laughs> I Used my glitter dots not too long ago, and I can't seem to find them in my mess. So I searched and searched and decided it was more important to get online than it was to search them down, hunt them down. But let me show you a card that I did, and I didn't have all the supplies. So I put this card together using that sample in the celebration. Basically, it's the same, except I used the I used the same paper. These are the glitter dots, they're really pretty. And actually when you look up close, it, it just adds so, so much to it. And then I just used one of the stamps that's in the Butterfly Gala. You've been on my mind. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't have that stamp set. So I just improvised. It looks adorable. I love it. I love this stamp set and I do, I, you know, these were these were dies that I wasn't sure that I was gonna need, but I've seen so many things and I'm like, okay, I need those too. Anyway. Great time to do it is celebration. Okay, now I have some more card samples to show you, and if I could sneak on my phone and just see what kind of questions are being asked, I'm hoping. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's saying they can't see it on my Facebook. I think people are out there though. Yep, people are out there. Hey, Alicia, you rock too. I gotta contact you. Um, yeah, somebody's saying they can't see it on sorry. Facebook. I can't see the comments. I need to get my iPad up. Anyway, I will go check the comments, but I wanna show you a couple of cards that I did. So, one day I just sat down with the paper and the stamp set and played with it. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you on this is I actually did stamp in the antennas on my butterflies, and it's okay without them, but I really do like them with it. So I just added that after I attached them and it was easy to line up um, because these antenna antennas are for polymer. Okay, so these are all done with just paper and then I stamped this and added some sequins and flowers and I just, it's really pretty. Um, more paper, butterflies cut out, I did stamp antennas, added a little ribbon. I did some embossing on here, which I like. Um, I made a whole bunch of stuff. So I did a whole set of cards, show them all to you. Basically the same design, just added butterflies where I could from paper. Uh, added the uh, black and white paper down the side. This is what I did for uh, a swap I was in, and then this one too, which are just some different things. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can. You can see the. So for these cards, I actually made envelopes. So each card that I made has a coordinating envelope to go with it. And I just love that paper. I just thought that is really a cool card. And not only will you make the recipient happy, but if you put it in the mail, you're going to make your mail ladies happy. They love it when they come in with envelopes that I made out of the paper. And I just used the envelope punch board and coordinated this one here coordinated it so that um, it matched the card. The other thing I did is for those of you who are Paper Pumpkin subscribers, we got this cute little box last in December. We had a calendar that we put together and I love this box so I kept it and the nice thing is is that these cards are going to fit in there. I'm not convinced about the envelopes because I made them a little bit bigger because I was worried. Yeah, see how much wider they are? I was kind of worried about the embellishments. I wanted to make sure my envelopes were big enough. But if I just use regular envelopes, these could all go inside with four envelopes. Just white envelopes would be just fine. 
and you have a great gift idea for a friend um, that just needs something nice. So there's that. And then this little book, I think I showed these last time too, but this does show off that paper well. And these are note card photo albums that I'm doing. And it really shows off that designer series paper. So that was all the colored paper in that pack. And then this is all the black and white paper that's in that pack. I know, lots to see, lots to show today. Um, so, where are we? I am going to, am I missing something? Hostess code. So the hostess code, hey, if you want to get a hold of me, my website is www.ddstamps.com. This is my email. So if you're a winner, email me at diane at ddstamps.com. This is this week's hostess code, and I actually put it up in the comments on Facebook. It's actually for the month. We have a, I have a great tutorial going out this month um, using Bloom to Bloom collection, and it's always fun. Oh, and the other thing is, if you love this stamp set, and you love this butterfly, and you love everything I showed today, you might want to think about signing up to be a demonstrator, because you could get all of this product plus more, $185 worth of product for $99 plus free shipping. That's $125 plus $175 worth of product. And then there's also that great carrying case that Stamping Up has put out that would be available to you too. So anyway, if you are interested, just contact me and let me know. I'll answer your questions. Um, I am going to get on Facebook here in about 30 seconds, and I might just whiz through a couple of questions and see if I can find a couple questions to answer. And then I'm probably gonna have to sign off because life is crazy around here, and I got paper to cut. Um, so good, it looks like a lot of people came on. Thanks, it's good to see you guys. If you have any questions, now would be the time to ask them. Uh, Jewel, it's good to be back. The weather in Red Lodge is actually pretty nice. We've had, over the Christmas vacation, we got a storm that blew in that was supposed to give us two to four inches of snow, and we ended up with over 12 inches of snow, but it was fun. Um, it's going to be a long winter, <laughs> so I have to like the snow. Uh, it's just the way it is. Yay, Janice figured out how to get me live. Uh, some people are having some issues, so I'll always be on my Facebook page at DD Stamps. So don't forget to comment. And like my post. Hey, hey, Kendra. Kendra actually lives in the Red Lodge area. That's awesome that you watched. Um, I'm kind of just scrolling through. So glitter dots hold well without adding glue on vellum. Yeah, the glitter dots that I put on my butterfly card, Linda, actually have adhesive already on them. So that's awesome. Lots of people love the cards. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hey, Rachel, how are things going? I love keeping track of your grandbaby on Facebook. That's always awesome. Okay, so I'm going to probably sign off for this week. Hopefully you learned something. I will um, put this video out. It'll be out on Facebook. You can watch it anytime. And always know that you can ask me questions anytime. Give me a, send me an email. Oh, Anna Southern, what's your favorite thing from the new catalog? Ugh. Uh, I actually, in this catalog, the first thing that stood out to me was the, that whole candy suite. The candy jars and the candy paper and the ice cream. And I, I just think it's adorable and the cupcakes and I can't wait to play with that. I haven't, I have, I've had it here. It's been stacked up on my, um, sitting on my desk waiting, but I, I have to get these packets done. I have to get that paper cut. <laughs> I, get the, I need to get this stuff mailed out. So Jennifer asked if I'm going to convention. I would love to know if I could answer that. Convention is held in April. Um, some things just came up recently that I am going to have to look at to see if I get to go. If I go, uh, I'm looking at two places. I know my friend Alicia, Alicia is going to San Antonio and I would love to go down and meet with her. Um, the other option is Salt Lake because I can drive there. And it happens to be my sister's birthday month and she would love to take a road trip. We like to road trip. So I, it, it's up in the air at this point whether I'm going. But if, uh, if, we're, um, if we're at the same event, I'd love to meet up with you. Jennifer, so that'd be great. <gasps> Rachel! 
I didn't know you had two now in town. That's awesome. Good for you. Okay, gang. I'm going to sign off. These are always supposed to be quick and easy. Just so you're aware, I will be sending out an email later today, hopefully. Um, I do plan to do an online workshop tomorrow night. Tomorrow's Thursday. And uh, at, I think I do them at 7. It's been a while since I've done them. That, one's good. that one will be live on YouTube and my website. And I haven't even sat down to think about what to do for that. So you want to catch me tomorrow? Tomorrow's is always longer. Tomorrow's is I, I spend a little bit more time with you, and I actually can be on screen and answering questions, and it's a little easier to maneuver. This Facebook Live is it's interesting. I like it, but it's a new learning experience. So, yeah, Wanda's going to Vancouver. I have a friend that's going up to Vancouver, British Columbia, too. Uh, Lynn, I will make I will take pictures of the cards that I did today, and I will make an album on Facebook. Thanks for reminding me. I'll put that in my notes. I don't know if it'll get up today or tomorrow, or but it'll it'll show up soon, and I will put a link in there. So it'll be on Facebook. So thank you guys. Have a great day, and uh, go stamp something fun. I'd love to see it. Bye bye. <laughs>